Hi there. Welcome to MailSmartly.com channel. Blocking spam can be quite nuisance. Most email providers have an option that allow you to block a certain domain from sending messages to your email account. And Microsoft Outlook is no exceptional. But there are certain where you will want to block a domain using rule function from sending messages even though it isn't spamming. Here in this video you will learn step by step method how to block a domain in Outlook application using rule function. So let's dive in. Open Outlook application. I have already opened it. So click on home tab. Click on rules. Here is rules in the move section. Now select manage rules and alert. Now rules and alert dialog box appears. Here first of all you have to select your email address from which you need to apply the rule. I have multiple email addresses so I just simply select one me email address. I select this. Now I have to click new rule. When I click on it, rule wizard dialog box appears. This is the first stage where we, we can create our rule. Now, <clears throat> there are three options. Stay organized, stay up to date and start from the blank rule. So I just start from my blank rule. So what I have to select is apply rule on messages I receive. I'm talking about the incoming emails. So I just select this option. Now, Stage 2. Added the rule description. Here, automatically appears. Apply this rule after the message arrives. Okay. Now, I have to click Next. Next is, which conditions do you want to check? You want to select the condition which matches with the scenario. You should select with specific word in the recipient address. Here it is with specific word in the recipient address. When you click on it, in the step two section, it is al already added with specific word in the recipient address. Now, click on the hyperlink, specific word. You have to mention the word or mention the domain name in this. So I just click on this hyperlink. Here, specify the word or phrase to search for in the recipient address. So I just type here the name of the domain I need to block. So I type for instance magicbricks.com and then click add. This magic uh, magic bricks added in the list. Click OK. Now you can see the the, uh, the term search word is replaced with the word magic bricks in the recipient address. Now click next. Next step is what do you want to do with the message? So the motive is to get rid of all the emails received from that domain you just entered, which is magic bricks. So there are two options. First is delete it. And second is permanent delete it. I want to show you what happens if I select permanent delete it. When I click on this permanent delete it, Outlook show me another message which says all messages deleted by this rule will be gone from your mailbox with no way to retrieve them. Are you sure you want to permanently delete action? In this case, they are saying if you select permanently delete it, the message automatically removed, entirely removed from the Outlook server. You cannot retrieve them back. So you can select it. But in my case, I have used to select this, delete it. It will move all my relative messages to the delete folder, which I can uh, remove or I can delete whenever I want. So I just select delete it. Now click next. So another step is, are there any exceptions? This is very interesting section. I usually leave them option as it is. But in case you need to allow a specific email address to land in your inbox with the same domain you are blocking, which is magic breaks, you can add that email address to that exception section. So I just leave as it is and click next. 
Finally, rule setup page appears. There are three steps. First, specify the name of the rule, which is already written, so I don't want to change it. Step two, step rules options. There are three options. Rule this, run this rule now on the messages already in inbox, or turn on this rule and create this rule for all accounts. So I just select this. And if I want to uh, set up the rule for all my accounts added in the Outlook, so I just select this, but, but I don't want this, so I just leave as it is. So I just select both of them. Now, the final step, review rules description. You can clearly review the rule, what you have created, apply this rule after the message arrived with magicbricks.com in the recipient address, or you need to delete it. So I just final all my setup. So click finish. Okay, now see the rule magic bricks already added in the rule list now from now onwards you receive any email message from this blog domain all your emails will be blocked by outlook i hope you found these videos useful also if you are liking these videos please subscribe to the youtube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new message outlook tips and problem solvers videos I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.